this is a core amino of the bomb. It is having two functional groups, OH as well as NH2. It's two functional groups. So if you want to carry out the acylation of this O acylation OH group, our desired product is this one. If you want to carry out the acylation of this using acetanhydride in presence of pyridine, what what is the problem? When we carry out the acylation of this, the reactivity of H2 is more than the reactivity of OH. So what happens? While carrying out, carrying out the acylation, this acylation goes at the NH functional group. That is, we will get the N acylated product. And if the acylation goes in excess, if you use excess of this one, a stickal that, then there is a the chance to get the diacylated product. The diacylation at this position and this position. Why it occurs like this? Because the reactivity of NH2 and OH. So what is the reactivity of NH2 and OH? What is the difference? NH2 is having more reactivity than the OH. In that case, what happens? Instead of getting our desired product, we get as the n acetylated product or diacetylated product. To get our desired compound, this expected compound, we must to have carry out the protection of NH2. NH2 means what? In this case, here is NH2. We can say that more reactive functional group first, then overstimulation. It is possible. Otherwise, it is difficult to get direct overstimulation of the this product. At final state is the deep protection. You might have understood just go through this one. So protection of OH. Protection of OH. Uh, before going to that one, we must know the uh, protection means what and the deep protection means what. The addition of protecting group to the functional group is called protection. Whereas removal of protecting group is called any protection. So consider this example, this amine RH2 when treated with bomb hydride. So this H from H from this NH2 get replaced with the bomb. It means that we are getting the RNH bomb. Structure can be written like this also. NH
something different and which is not reacting with this NH2 means it creates a problem. So this is the one condition. What is the second? Whatever the product you will get, yield is very important. If you are carrying out protection, you must get a good yield. Suppose you are, you are taking the same example and you are taking only 20 to 25 percent protection yield. Then it is questionable whether we should go with this protection or not. This yield is also matter. This is also matter. This is also matter. And then third one is the time. Why time? Because if you are taking too much time to complete this protection, you have to go far. So that it should take, it should not take longer time for the protection. Should not take should not take longer time. Yes, it should complete in a shorter time. So what is the core point? Core point is the stability. What is meant by stability? Stability is very important because why would I bring the protection for the stability of that particular functional group? So for the stability, suppose you take one functional group, simply for the understanding you can take RNH2 plus mobile hydride.
very important. Time is also very important. Stability of the protected group, that is the protected compound, is very important. Isn't it very important? And last two points, that is a, that is it should not create. Okay. I mean, suppose you have 